Welcome to the Class of 2020's Commencement Ceremony. I'm Heather Osborne, Assistant Principal at ACP Erie, and on behalf of the entire faculty and staff, congratulations to the students in the Class of 2020 on successfully completing their high school career. We are immensely proud of each of you. As we begin this year's ceremony, I am pleased to introduce senior Elena Conklin, who will be singing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner wave or the Thank you, Elena. What a great job you did. I would like to thank our superintendent, Dr. Camille Castile, and governing board president, Barb Mosden, for their continued support of Chandler Unified School District and Arizona College Prep. They have prepared a very special message for all of our graduates this year. I am extremely pleased to introduce to the Knight family, superintendent, Dr. Camille Castile, and CUSD board president, Mrs. Barb Mosden. Hello, I'm Camille Castile, Superintendent of Chandler Unified Schools. On behalf of the entire community, I want to extend to you, the Class of 2020, a heartfelt congratulations. Your high school graduation is happening during an unprecedented time in our history. The last weeks of your senior year were disrupted by the COVID-19 outbreak. Schools were closed, athletic events, celebrations, and end of year activities canceled. I share your disappointment. Frankly, observing seniors in their final year is a highlight. You have grown so much and it's evident in all you do. I wanna take this opportunity to remind you that nothing can take away the meaning of your Chandler Unified School District Diploma. You've met high standards and completed all the requirements. You are now ready for the world of work or academia. In addition, I want to commend the 2020 graduating class on how you handled this significant disruption. You quickly adapted to a new learning environment and completed your studies. You graciously sacrificed your plans and desires for the greater good. Many of you turned your focus outward to serve family and community members in need. You have brought great pride to the entire district. I want to remind you also that the commencement doesn't represent a stopping point, but by definition, a beginning or start. We wish the graduating class of 2020 a happy, healthy life as you pursue your dreams. Hello, I'm Barb Mosden, President of the Chandler Unified School District Governing Board. On behalf of the board, I would like to congratulate the 2020 graduating class of Arizona College Prep Erie. A virtual graduation is not what any of us envisioned as recently as three months ago. But your accomplishments are not diminished in any way by the lack of a traditional commencement exercise. Life is a journey, and I hope you will learn from these challenges associated with the difficult times of 2020. Now we want to celebrate the milestone of graduation. Commencement is a big deal, not only for you, but for your parents and families as well. 
You've worked hard to get to this point and it is truly celebration worthy. Today is the time to reflect on the good times and the challenges you've overcome to get to this point. On behalf of the Governing Board, congratulations to the Class of 2020. We wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you, Dr. Castile and Mrs. Mosden. We appreciate all that you do for our school and the district. At this time, I am honored to welcome our senior class president, Tenda Wiegan. Her positive attitude and warm smile brighten our halls every day. Tendall embraces the night spirit, and I am so excited to hear her remarks. Thank you, Ms. Osborne. As you know, my name is Tendall Wiegand, and this year it's been my honor to serve as senior class president. Friends, family, faculty, and distinguished guests, I would like to welcome you to today's graduation ceremony. It truly is a blessing. At one point, we were unsure whether we would be here to celebrate this special occasion, but we are lucky enough to share this day together, and I would be remiss if I didn't thank the first responders, healthcare workers, and the personnel on the front line who are responding and sacrificing their health in support of the community during the pandemic. I'd like to ask you to join me in taking a moment of silence in honor of these individuals. Thank you. Reflecting back, at this time last year, the administration asked us to create a motto for the school year. After several painstaking surveys and votes, the class had finally agreed upon 2020 vision, a literal and figurative metaphor for our upcoming school year. The meaning, not only did we have the perfect vision, but we were anticipating our ability to see the impact and changes we have on the world throughout the coming high school journey and beyond. As the new year came, we expected it to be the beginning of a decade full of opportunity for the senior class to envision our future and achieve our goals. As it turned out, life had other plans for our class. Even with seemingly perfect vision, no one could have forecasted the onset of the pandemic and how it would alter what we were so accustomed to. The summer leading into senior year, we spent hours at school planning for the assembly and activities for the first week back. Tuesday morning, we showed up bright and early. I could feel the enthusiasm and excitement that our last first day entailed. I vividly remember the moment we stood, lined up that morning at parent drop-off, screaming and cheering as students shuttled onto campus. The parents, so eager to join in the festivities and fun, celebrated their students with us, honking their horns and rolling down the windows so they could cheer. The day went off without a hitch, of course, we took a unique approach, creating new traditions as trailblazers on campus. As the year progressed, we shared so many memories, most of which would be our last. Homecoming, Friday Night Lights, Spirit Weeks, and Battle of the Classes Assemblies. But even with 2020 vision, who would have thought that leaving for spring break meant leaving for good? While we did not have the opportunity to close out senior year as we imagined, we gained something more valuable as a result. We came to understand school, while learning is a central focus, there's far more to the ACP than just that. There's a community here that binds us all. If I would have asked any senior in the room that under any other circumstance, you could take the last quarter off with online classes from the comfort of your home, in your pajamas, constant access to your refrigerator, I'm sure just about everyone would have jumped at that chance. In reality, that was anything but ideal. Each of us quickly realized that the distance learning was fine, but what we truly missed was the community and culture that we had built at ACP. Late students speeding into the parking lot hoping to get through the gates before Coach Weber Sean closed them, parking lot hangouts after school, sitting at lunch catching up with all your friends, sneaking your phone during class to check Snapchat and Instagram, rushing to finish homework during success period because you definitely did not do it last night. Celebrating no C's on campus for our rival football game, the excitement of homecoming week, celebrating all of our sports teams, the feeling of walking onto campus and knowing that you belonged, that someone cared. We have endured heartbreak, loss, disappointment, frustration, and anger. But take a look around. We are resilient, strong, persistent, dynamic, unstoppable. We made it a testament of our perseverance and commitment to excellence. 
as well as our dedication to one another. Take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go. The future is bright. This time has tested our limits, but it's also revealed how often we take for granted opportunities, a reminder to express gratitude and appreciation often. This was never in the playbook, never in our vision for a perfect senior year, but our flexibility, attitude, and persistence have proven that we can overcome anything. With that being said, I would like to ask you to join me in giving a round of applause for our teachers and staff who exemplified what it meant to overcome, to enthusiastically take on challenges without question or hesitation and maintain a positive outlook. They have always been devoted, but this pandemic has truly illustrated their commitment to ACP and their passion for serving students. Thank you, faculty and staff. Throughout these past months, we continue to hear the term unprecedented to describe the pandemic and its impacts on society. It does not mean impossible. There is still so much hope for the future. Interestingly enough, a synonym for unprecedented is the word extraordinary. If you asked me, it seems that ACP is the embodiment of unprecedented. This was meant to be. Daily announcements challenge us to strive for the impossible and be extraordinary because as my volleyball coach once said, that's what nights do. Today marks the beginning of anything you want, and each day after is an opportunity to wake up, be your best self, and feel blessed for what you have. As Dr. Seuss once said, sometimes you will never know the value of the moment until it becomes a memory. So class of 2020, thank you for the memories. I have the honor to introduce a highly accomplished student in and out of the classroom. Natasha Zimmerman. All those with the pleasure of knowing Natasha would describe her as a passionate, driven, hardworking, and devoted to embodying what it means to be a knight. Please welcome Natasha Zimmerman. Thank you, Tendall. Parents, faculty, and my fellow seniors, four years ago, the class of 2020 stepped onto this campus for the first time as high school freshmen and none of us could have predicted what would happen next. We sat through countless hours of lectures and PowerPoint presentations, only to watch our senior year pass by from behind a computer screen. But despite all the fear and all the uncertainty, I can still clearly recall one of the most critical lectures of our high school career. We sat in C-102 as Mr. Rumsey taught us about Joseph Campbell's monomyth, or one man's definition of story theory, in that lesson, we analyzed Finding Nemo and laughed at a story about Mr. Rumsey on a ropes course. But we also learned that every story begins with a catalyst, an inciting incident which brings about all conflict and thus all resolution in a narrative. And just as art reflects life, stories reflect the way in which we learn and grow in every aspect of our journeys. Think about it, every inch of growth we have experienced begins with a catalyst a supportive teacher, a doting friend, a loving parent, or even just the casual realization in the most mundane of settings that we can be better than we are now. We grow because of catalysts. But as we graduate tonight, we become much more than student debt recipients and casual observers of story theory. Tonight, we are rewarded not only for what we have done, but for what we will do. We are triumphantly introduced to the world as catalysts, and we enter society with the knowledge, work ethic, drive, and hopefully humility to become successful in every endeavor, so long as we harness our adversity and use it toward good. We leave high school knowing that while the future may be scary, we are more ready for it than it is ready for us. Because whether or not you believe in the power of an Arizona college prep education, we are a special breed of student, one who cares about the problems in front of us and the world in which we are entering. We pride ourselves on an ability to create something we are proud of, no matter what that something is to you. Whether it's spearheading an award-winning math team, coordinating a campus gun violence protest, or roping the entire senior class into a COVID-19 Discord server, we are a body of students who rejects the set of obstacles hindering our accomplishment. 
If the rest of the world graduates as semi-ambitious career hopefuls, we graduate as change makers, inciting incidents, catalysts. So tonight, as we move our tassels from one side to another, I beg of you, let your unfounded potential inspire you. Dedicate the life you are entering to being a catalyst. Choose what you are passionate about and run at it with full force until you have created the change that you hope to see. Because what better time than now to be the most impactful group of graduates in history? Tonight, we are more than a body of students who used to go to high school together. We're a class of achievers ready to change the world that dares to challenge us. So go out, choose your path, find your passion, recover from senioritis, and become a catalyst. Because that's what we have spent the past four years training to be. Thank you, class of 2020, for four amazing years. And may the future you pursue treat you kindly. Now I'm excited to introduce one of the most accomplished students in our senior class. She's a dedicated academic as well as a loyal teammate, and I have no doubt she'll continue her incredible achievement post-graduation. Please welcome Abna Ahmed. Thank you, Natasha. Parents, faculty, and fellow classmates, it feels surreal that we all have arrived here to this moment in our lives where we are turning the last page in a monumental chapter. I think for many of us, it felt like this day would never come, that it was something we became used to seeing others experience from the comfort of our position as audience members. In ways like this, we became intrinsically familiar with the events and surroundings of Arizona College Prep. It became so habitual to arrive at school rushing to make sure to be in class on time when that 745 bell rang, to hear Mr. Bacchus's annual reminder that he struggles with remembering names, to balancing a time with extracurriculars, to sharing lunch together, and for me personally, to hear new teachers pronounce my name as Amina, which I totally understand by the way, the spelling is a bit unique. It is Omna for the record. But the time has come where we won't be sitting in the audience of entertaining pep rallies, sharing our vulnerable past in feather circles, or reading some of the most interesting literature. Gone are the days where we are in awe of the scientific concepts we explore in labs and feel the well-earned pride at finally solving an intricate math problem under the doc camera. While these moments may be gone, they will always remain cherished in our hearts. Beyond just the memories that we have all made while in high school, I want to take a brief moment to share the lessons that I've learned from you all, the amazing students, teachers, and administrators at this great school. I've learned the dedication and sacrifice that it takes to improve both in the classroom and out. I've learned the importance of kindness in every action taken, no matter if it's during random acts of kindness week or simply during our daily interactions with one another. I've learned that it is okay to be different and have unique backgrounds, and that in fact, this should be embraced and expressed with confidence. I've learned the power of patience and empathy and their importance in enriching life. I've learned that striving for the impossible is actually quite possible with the right mindset and dedication, and that being extraordinary has become a new standard that we can all hold ourselves to. These are the lessons that I believe we can all reflect on and carry beyond the classrooms of ACP and into the world. As we leave our home away from home, our place of sheltered comfort, we must now face the world head on, where no matter the difference in our opinions or beliefs, we must strive to understand each other as passionate and loving individuals. We must use our voices to speak out on the issues we care about, just as many Socratic seminars and discussions have taught us. We must be curious about the world and explore. These are the lessons from our time spent here that will truly make a difference. And given the recent obstacle we all faced as a world and as a school, it is already evident the manner in which we have applied these lessons beyond the classroom. I witnessed our class of 2020 adapt and cope with a sudden and new reality. I witnessed our class make noble sacrifices, and I witnessed us all put forth our greatest efforts to remain united and spread positivity. These actions are a sign that we all hold such a great and honorable ability to, ability to make a change, and this should forever remain with us. 
With time, we will go our separate ways, but I hope for years to come, we will revisit the memories and lessons that we all share together and look fondly on all that we've accomplished in our time here. And may we always remember that we are one, we are family, we are knights. It is now with great honor that I introduce a greatly cherished teacher who is both an amazing mentor and a fantastic friend to so many of the student body, Ms. Bunch. Ms. Bunch shows passionate devotion to her students' education and their success in the classroom and truly exemplifies a caring nature that presents comfort to her students. It truly has been a wonderful experience learning from Ms. Bunch and knowing her for quite some years. Please welcome Ms. Bunch. Thank you, Amna. To the graduating class of 2020, your high school years brought you thousands of facts that I know most of you have already forgotten. Who was Dorothy Dix? Which amendment gave women the right to vote? Why do Brazilians speak Portuguese and not Spanish? And what was the Cold War really about? And the list could go on, but I am fairly certain that you can still recall the Oregon Trail and a few details of your sordid expedition west. So settle in for a short story. My journey after high school played out a bit like the Oregon Trail. I'm sure you remember that the pioneers who traveled west for a better life planned out their journey by buying their food supplies, their sturdy oxen, extra wagon wheels, and surplus sets of clothes. Well, I stepped out of high school with a similar plan and preparation for my trek through college. My four-year plan included a degree in accounting, meeting a husband in my third or fourth year at ASU, marriage and a career to follow shortly after graduation, and two to three children before I turned 30. And we can all see how well that plan turned out. And just as those on the Oregon Trail encountered broken wagon wheels, rivers to cross, spoiled food supplies, and treacherous wagon raids, I encountered a wide variety of difficulties on my trail. I found myself skipping classes and changing my mind about my major and career path at least three times. I had a bit of an identity crisis, if you will. And my four-year plan was so far out of my reach, I began to wonder who I was, where I would go, and what I would do. I had lived my whole life being a student, following a plan and adhering to structure. So what would happen without them? Throughout my 20s and 30s, <clears throat> I found myself in a series of short-term careers that satisfied me for a year or three. But nothing ever felt quite right. Nothing in that time said, yes, I want to do this for the rest of my life and I feel fulfilled. Nothing until I looked, took a leap of faith at the age of 35. Yes, the age when many are settling into a steady career path, I quit my job and decided to go back to school. After many years of delay, I had arrived at my ultimate destination and was looking forward to that better life because I finally realized through a long, tumultuous version of Bunch's Oregon Trail that I wanted to spend my days, my life, connecting with people. I wanted to be a teacher. Most of you have a four-year plan just like I did, and many of you will see it to fruition. But I also want you to know that it's okay to make changes to that plan. I want you to see that it's perfectly acceptable to throw that plan in the shredder and start over. You will encounter obstacles. You will encounter heartbreaks. You will endure setbacks. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Allow the true education you have received as ACP Knights to sustain and strengthen you as you conquer those difficulties and learn from them so that you can make the world around you an incredible place to be. Do not be afraid to take risks and to follow your heart, as long as you bring your head with you too. Henry David Thoreau wrote, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. So go out into this world of uncertainty, certain that you are filled with immense potential. I have to tell you that I procrastinated writing this speech for about as long as I could, telling myself that I write better under pressure and because, yes, I'm just like you and I will put off to tomorrow what doesn't have to be done today. And in this time of endless hours and endless days, it felt like I had forever to ponder the perfect words to share with you as you leave your high school days behind. But deep down, I know that I was also delaying this task because it meant saying goodbye to the students who literally changed my life in 2015. 
as I began a new career as a teacher of eighth grade social studies. Sorry. How does a teacher say goodbye to a group of students like you and to the many of you who joined the ranks in the years following and crossed the threshold of my classroom each week of your junior year? I will give thanks. Thank you for making me the teacher I am today. Thank you for the countless stories you shared with me, the lessons you taught me in and out of the classroom, and the joyful and broken hearts you poured out to me. I will never doubt that I was meant to be a teacher because of you. So I will hold on to the memories, and I will rejoice in the knowledge that you are out in the world making a difference. I know because you made a difference in me. Thank you. Now, please welcome the one and only, your fearless leader and biggest champion, Mr. Robert Bickus. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so very proud of you and extremely happy to be a part of your celebration, regardless of the circumstances surrounding us right now. After all, today is a celebration whether hosted in a gym, on a stage, on a field, or via video. And it is a celebration that's important, and I am thrilled to honor each of you today. At the same time, I must acknowledge the disappointment, frustration, and anger that I, like you, have experienced under the circumstances, and I am so very sorry that many of the traditions that we look forward to have been taken from you. But today's celebration has not. So let us all celebrate and relish in what you have all accomplished together. As you can imagine, I have been the recipient of many emails from you and outside vendors sharing ways to consider celebrating the class of 2020. There are a multitude of ideas out there, but one of these ideas suggested including inspirational thoughts or messages to put on bumper stickers or other promotional materials. One of the messages stuck with me. It said, in a roundabout way, Class of 2020, our year was cut short, but our dreams were not. I think this is a wonderful statement and an important one to remember. Regardless of what life throws at you and your class has experienced and overcome much, whether it be September 11th, Red for Ed, and now COVID-19, your dreams are alive. Your dreams are attainable. The world, while it might look different right now, is still yours to conquer, but you have to keep your dreams alive. Don't let circumstances challenge your goals. Continue to strive for them. Continue to work for excellence. Continue to dream. Your dreams define you, they guide you, and they will ultimately help you to have a fulfilled life. So while our school year was cut short and many of the traditions we look forward to celebrating did not occur, your dreams are still intact. They are still real. They are still yours. Don't let them go and don't stop dreaming. No one can ever say the members of the class of 2020 aren't prepared to take on any adversity that comes their way. You are. And your strength, confidence, and belief in yourselves and in your peers will take you so very far. So let's celebrate. Let's celebrate you're completing a rigorous program of study. Let's celebrate your successful studying for exams or staying up late to finish those assignments. Let's celebrate your involvement in and contribution to a school club or an athletic team. Let's celebrate your service to our school and to our community. Let's celebrate your role as mentors to our underclassmen. Let's celebrate those wins and those losses, those dances and social events. Simply put, let's celebrate your contributions as knights. But most importantly, let's celebrate your care and compassion for one another, your 2020 vision. And what did that 2020 vision lead to this year? It led to a state speech and debate team championship. It led to the highest rating an orchestra can earn. It led to our school being named a national blue ribbon school. It led to an individual state wrestling champion. It led to the creation of the CUSD Soul Student Leadership Athletic Organization. It led to seven National Hispanic Scholars and four National Merit Scholars. And it led to bringing you, the class of 2020, 
over 24 million in academic scholarship offers and acceptance to over 135 colleges. Not bad for a class of 160. But for me, your 2020 vision has reassured me that we are in a good place. Our future is bright. You have persevered. You have overcome. And you have already attained so many of your dreams. And I know that you can and will attain so many more. So congratulations and thank you, class of 2020. Thank you for teaching us that the school year may get cut short, but dreams do not. Thank you for teaching us to look beyond the present and to relish in the hopes of the future. And thank you for giving us so many reasons to celebrate today. So as we celebrate your graduation from ACP, I challenge you to hold on to that 2020 vision, to stay true to your dreams, and to always, always continue to strive for the impossible and be extraordinary. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. <laughs> Dr. Castile, members of the governing board, as principal of Arizona College Prep Erie, I certify that the members of the class of 2020 have fulfilled the requirements for graduation established by the state of Arizona and the Chandler Unified School District Governing Board. It is my pleasure to present the class of 2020. Alexi Tyler Aguilar, Amna Mahmoud Ahmed, Marianne Marwan Aish, Umberto Ambra, Parsa Amini, Adam Orion Azaret, Elena Michelle Ashton, Kashish Athmanathan, Maria Ayala Rosales, Kayla Michelle Baker, Sienna May Barone, Ariana Bashar, Marola Bibawi, Haley Elizabeth Blixt, Ian Robert Booth, Ashley Sharon Brady, Angelina Sakura Brazen, Jean Luc Bryan, Kelsey Marie Burns, Marley Bush, Emma Jean Bird, Paige Madison Kane, Aslan Sabra Caldwell, Benito Raul Canales, James Ross Chadwick, Jaden Jian Ting Chen. William Alexander Combs. Elena Ann Conklin. Matthew Joseph Corey. Catherine Ann Crawford. Hayden Olivia Cristofano. Eric Paul DeCoster. Julia Grace Diaz. Octavio Diaz Sandoval. Michelle Ashling Estrada. Zoe Lynn Felbine. Emma Marie Fendrick. Han Lynn Fang. Nadia Catherine Fernando. Michaela Rochelle Fifield. Brian Alexander Fogarty. William Crawford Fortunato. Tori Ann Foster, Alexandria Lynn Fox, Nathaniel Richard France, Aiden Freeland, Mitsuaki David Fukuzaki, Junyi Gao, Vanessa Marie Gosen, Alex James Gilchrist, Julia May Golahowski, Alexia Gomez, Mia Eileen Gomez, Ashley Rose Griffin, 
Allison Danielle Gruel, Jack Thomas Halverson, Aisha Iman Hassan, Matisse Evan Herv, Arwa Halehill, Carrie Hu, Kazushi Iwamoto, Ryan Timothy G, Elias Timothy Tere Jones, Bryce Andrew Jones, Benjamin Charles Junt, Ahmed Aslam Juvale, Neha Kairamkanda, Matthew Thomas Kearney, Asim Wasim Khan, Mariam Khan, Brandon Kildee, Jameson Lee Parker Reed Komarniski, Jade La Riviere, Ryan Lee, Chloe Carolyn Lewandowski, Zarin Renee Lewis, Katie Marie Leon, Victoria Ann Long, Jacob Lopez, Kevin Yi Lu, Hector Ulysses Luna, Sarah Elizabeth Matthew, Emiko Grace Matsumoto, Nicholas Elijah Matthews, Jad Ahmad Masbudi, Megan McKenna, Jalen Alexis Merlot, Mason Lee Messenger, Santos David Miller, Irvi Mystery, Cody Lynn Mitchell, Dawson Christopher Molasong, Ikram Sajid Mudadi, Danielle Elizabeth Music, Diego Humberto Navarro, Jake Almeida Newman, Ivy Huang Nguyen, Travis Tian Nguyen, Sharmila Subod Nimkar, Naomi Aiko Nishikawa, Logan Matthew Novak, Thomas Michael Obrenovich, Angelina Vittoria Ogaz, Ayan Omer, Kennedy McCormack Orr, Ian Michael Oxley, Nardia Padilla, Hunter Thomas Panic, Sean Fu, Kip Isabel Preston, Carver M. Proventure, Vincent Miguel Quintero, Caden James Liggins Raybo, Emily Suzanne Rake, Denise Victoria Ramirez, Jared Trey Riley, Damian Christian Rivera, Miranda Margaret Romero, Krista Renee Rowan, Ashley Morgan Rolfus, Morgan Lane Rumsey, Megan Diane Sheha, Logan Michael Sandlin, Naomi Sano, Emily Rose Shugart, Brooke Ann Scott, Brisa Serrano, Ahmad Mohammed Shaltat. Sahil Sharma, Noor Heisem Shiblock, Joseph T. Cisneros, Taylor Dylan Smith, Kushi Solanki, Hunter Wyatt Spivey, 
Richard Matthew Steinke, Isaac Daniel Stoll, Gayatri Sudhir, Owen Paul Sullins, Caleb Robert Joseph Swanson, Orchi Labiba Syed, Joshua Liam Tenorio, Michael Richard Thompson, Hunter Tran, Taman Van Trong, Hannah Se, Nathan Obanonso Udenze, Devin Junyo Wang, Leo Sampson Wang, Tendal Lauren Weekend, Reka Ann Wijay Surya, Curtis Edward Wilkerson, Kaylee Jane Wilkerson, Holly Xu, Lucy Xu, Michelle Ling Yao, Dina Tarek Yusuf, Zachary Lewis Zarodnik, Jackson Noah Zeller, Natasha Suzanne Zimmerman, Sar Zucci. Congratulations, Knights. Now for a special treat. Seniors Thomas Obredovich and Caden Rabo, with the support of Mr. Lindstrom and all the members of the senior class, have put together a video sharing a few memories from throughout the year. Enjoy.
It is my pleasure to introduce this year's final speaker, student body president, Elias Jones. Elias is a wonderful student body president and his leadership skills not only impacted our school, but the entire district with the development of CUSD Seoul. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias Jones. Thank you, Mr. Biggis. Parents, faculty, and fellow classmates. I really didn't know how to go about this whole speech writing thing. So the night before it was due, I sat on my phone watching other videos, trying to see if I could get anything going. As I watched, I noticed that for the most part, they all started to sound similar. See, I could come up here and talk about how four years ago I came knowing no one but my little sister. But you guys already heard that from me. Another thing I could do is I could say, when we were freshmen, the number one song went, dun, 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 we ain't never getting older. But you guys don't really care about that. I mean, I don't really care about that. I only added it in because I thought it'd be funny to make that noise. So what does that leave me with? I could brag about you guys for a whole, for a whole long time. Unfortunately, I don't really have enough time for that because we're just so awesome. Something else I thought about was legacy. My brother, he gave a graduation speech focused on that very topic. He spoke about how he wrote his name on, his, on a wall his freshman year, and on, by the time he checked on it his senior year, it was gone. We're gone. Just like that, huh? We came, we did our time, and we got out of here. Peace, deuces, adios, bye. We left as quickly as we came. I don't know, that doesn't sound right to me. See, the way I see it, there's 160 of you guys. A lot of you have been at ACP, Erie, or Oakland since junior high. Some, like myself, enrolled here freshman year. And others came at some other point in our journey. But none of that necessarily matters, because at the end of the day, we all make up that 160. The chosen few, as I like to call them. See, the reason I refer to our class, the class of 2020, as the chosen few, is not because we test to get in. We don't, we don't actually do that. It's because our class is special. Like it or not, you're a part of ACP's class of 2020, and that's an honor. Think about it, guys. We're the first graduating class of an all high school ACP. In our time here, so much has happened, but in our senior year alone, ACP has become a blue ribbon school, had a state champion wrestler, a state champion speech and debate team, and that's all on top of an already stacked resume. I know I said I wasn't gonna brag, but guys, I can't help myself. Another thing I saw going back to those YouTube speeches was people giving advice. But I'm just like each and every one of you. I don't really know how to give too good of advice. But if I could, I would ask you one thing. Never lose pride in being a knight. See, on my first day here, Mr. Bickus said, there are those who watch it happen, those who make it happen, and those who say, what happened? It is with the utmost honor that I can say I'm a member of ACP's class of 2020. We are the class that made it happen. Guys, we're done. I mean, well, we're done with this chapter. While I'm up here, I would like to say a few thank yous, though. To the staff administration, thank you for giving me the opportunity to even be a student at ACP. I know that initially you just wanted my little sister, so I'm glad I could tag along. To the teachers, as weird as this is to say, with every teacher I've had, there's been a time where I did not like them. I know, I know that sounds wrong, but as the Buddha once said, your worst enemy is your best teacher. For me, my teachers were not my enemy because they gave a lot of homework. I mean, that didn't really help. But they were my enemy, enemy because of how hard they pushed me. Sometimes it was so easy to be average, to be complacent. But the teachers of this school would not allow that. I thank them for it. It made me a better person. To the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, thank you. Nothing I can ever do will repay what you, give, what you, what you have given me. Excuse me. And finally, to the class of 2020. Man, I don't even know what to say, guys. You mean, to, you mean the world to me, and I'm sorry that it had to end this way. But personally, after looking back and thinking about all the memories we made together, I'm okay with it. You have made my time here amazing, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So now, go make it happen. Thank you. <laughs> Class of 2020, the time has come for us to move our tassels.
Please join me in moving your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Thank you for viewing this year's ceremony and for being a part of our school and our lives. Remember to strive for the impossible and be extraordinary. We love you, Knights, and we wish you the best of luck for a, on a fantastic future. And remember, the sun never sets on a night.